going to start to talk about separation points. It is always exact, but also exactly right for each particular client. Depending on who sat in your chair, the separation points may alter a little bit. It may even alter from one side to the other, depending on the hairline and growth patterns. To tailor a look specifically for the individual, it's very important to follow the exact separation points. This can be best seen in our edge technique. Talking about the side hair, side hair is always from the furthest point back of the recession to the back hairline running up towards the crown. Side hair will only fall down, forwards and backwards. Back hair is always everything in between the back hairline here and the crown. So depending on who sat in your chair, it may alter a little bit, but remember to be exact. The side hair can never be worn onto the top of the head, the back hair can never be worn forwards or on the top, and the top hair will naturally want to fall forwards and in the parting. The top hair is always between the furthest point back of the two recession areas. That's different for every client who's in your chair. Each area has specific limitations to how it wants to fall, lay and sit with no product usage. To get one area to fall and lay in another, you will need to use product. So when cutting the hair, know that you have these limitations depending on what you would like the hair to actually do. Where you want it to fall, where you want it to move is only decided by the technique and the shape. Don't force hair to be where it doesn't want to naturally fall. This will make the haircut much higher maintenance at home.